This is Info Live TV headline news, August 8th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. A top Israeli defense official said that if Russia goes through with the sale of its most advanced anti aircraft missile system to Iran, Israel will use an electronic device now under development to neutralize it and as a result present Russia as vulnerable to air infiltrations. The Russian system, called the S 300, is one of the most advanced multi targeted anti aircraft missile systems in the world today and has a reported ability to track up to 100 targets simultaneously while engaging up to 12 targets at the same time. The Popular Resistance Committees warned Israel on Thursday that the truce between Hamas and Israel in the Gaza Strip could end in three weeks' time if no progress is made on the opening of the crossings and the release of prisoners. The truce between Israel and Hamas, which went into effect on June 19th, calls on Gaza terrorists to halt rocket attacks in return for Israel's gradual opening of the Gaza Strip's border crossings. Overall, the truce has largely been upheld and rocket attacks from Gaza have declined. Four cabinet ministers will meet on Monday to discuss the name and number of Palestinian prisoners. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert promised Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas to release by the end of the month. Vice Premier Chaim Ramon will head the committee along with Internal Security Minister Avi Deichter, Justice Minister Daniel Friedman, and Minister Without Portfolio Ami Ayalon. The names chosen to be released will then be brought to the cabinet for final approval. Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni has received surprising support for her bid for Kadima leadership from Iraq of all places. The Foreign Ministry recently received a letter through its Arabic language website from an Iraqi author and researcher expressing his enthusiastic support for the Israeli minister. The author said that he prays to God that Livni becomes Israel's prime minister and said that the Middle East and the world in general would be better off if Livni wins. The opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympics is just hours away, and five of Israel's representatives will be competing in the first day of the Games on Saturday. Judoka Gal Yakutiel will be the first Israeli to take part in the Games, facing 2004 bronze medalist Sagan Batar Hashbatar of Mongolia. Later in the day, gymnast Alex Shatilov will compete at the National Indoor Stadium, followed by Gal Nevo, Anya Gostomelsky, and Tom Beeri, who will compete in swimming in the evening at the National Aquatic Center. China's second biggest cellular service provider, Unicom, has chosen Israeli company Celtic Technology to market cellular content to users during and after the 2008 Olympic Games. China Unicom will be using Celtic's flagship technology, Livescreen Media, as a content management platform and to manage cellular advertising. The service supported in Chinese and English includes news flashes on the games, real-time results, video clips, trivia games, and other applications. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.